Uh, before I came to Gas Monkey, I uh, specialized in restoring Shelbys and Mustangs, uh, a bunch of high-end muscle cars, anything from the early 60s to the early 70s. I was really lucky. I, I didn't have any training per se in cars at a school of any kind. I had a bunch of guys that knew a lot about cars that taught me pretty much everything I know up to this point. Um, a lot of it was trial by error, a lot of experience on the job. I uh, was really lucky, like I said, to have people that would actually take the time to show you the right way to do stuff. You know, uh, coming into a new place when I came in for the Firebird project, I was, you know, I was pretty tense about the deal. You got a new whole crew, guys that know their way. They got a guy coming in that is supposed to be their temporary boss, and you know, it added a lot of pressure to me. I really respect all the guys I work with. Uh, it was a huge project, had a huge time frame. Uh, you know, a lot of things that could tear us down, but the guys really accepted me after they saw that I was willing to do what I asked them to do. And, uh, you know, ever since I love the guys, they give me all kinds of grief about being Mr. Stiff and too coarse and not enjoying things enough. But, you know, I really do enjoy this a lot more than I show. I just, I show my stress a lot more than a lot of the guys do. So, you know, it, it is what it is, but I really love being here. My idea of a, a holy grail and Dennis's idea of a holy grail are totally different. It's a holy grail Mustang if it's real. It's a holy grail. It is a holy grail. It's a holy grail Mustang. The holy grail, Dr. Jones. The holy grail. This is Whoa. holy grail. It's in a holy grail car. Holy grail. Preach holy it. grail moment. Say it, Be Dean. excited. I am excited. With you. My idea of a holy grail is super, super rare. Uh, say Mopar, real limited Cudas or Shelby's uh, convertibles, you know, in 66, there were only four of those. Those super rare cars. Now, you find a super, super original car, that's what Dennis considers a Holy Grail, and those are awesome as well. Uh, the Mopar cars, there were so many low, low number cars, you know, five, seven. Those are incredibly rare cars. I really don't think we'll ever have a car like that at Gas Monkey because simply the investment it takes to make that car absolutely right and the time to do it, we just couldn't possibly do for a show like this. The biggest day-to-day -day challenge here at Gas Monkey is time frame. Uh, we're pretty much given whatever we need to get a project done except for time. Usually it's generally two weeks or four weeks for a full, full build. Uh, and you know, regardless, that's not near enough time as it takes, so we put a lot of late hours in. The guys push really hard. Uh, you know, get down to that last week or so, it seems like every episode all we're talking about is the time frame, but in all honesty, that is the reality of this job, is it is a super short time frame. I'm much more methodical than most of the guys here. Uh, I love these guys, they keep me laughing all the time, even though I don't show it on camera a lot of times. <laughs> Every time. The stress gets to me a lot more because Richard comes down to me to get things done, get things the way you need to be. Uh, but you know, I love it that the guys enjoy being here because for the hours we put in, for the projects we do, if you don't have that, you know, it would be a miserable place to work if it weren't like that. <laughs> Is this the one? Same as every day. Black pants, black shirt. This is how I roll. If you like it, I love it. Thanks. Shut up. All right.